Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance, and this Resistance video is sponsored by contribution from Darlene, and here is her story. Hi, Ollie and the Narcissist Abuse Community. This will be short, but I really need some feedback. You've done a couple videos for me that outline the narc abuse I have gone through and now, and that I am now no contact. The perspective these videos have given me is really helpful, but the downside is I can no longer pretend to have a normal extended family. It's been about six weeks of no contact after a really devastating discard from my father. He purchased my sister her dream home and he has moved out of our family home. I have no idea where anyone is living anymore. This is the short but complex question I have for the recovering community. When does it stop hurting? When does the self-doubt stop? When do I have, when do I just have some peace? I guess that's more than just one question. I know it's not safe for me to contact these people, nor do I want to do so, do so, but the devastation is painful. Now that I am no contact, I see the dysfunction clearer every day. You're absolutely correct when you say that no contact is the only way to gain perspective of the situation. The problem is, I feel like such a fool that I am so mad at myself for living in cognitive dissidence for decades. I wanted so hard to believe I had a family. I wanted for that. I wanted that for my son because he is an only child. I wanted it because I truly believe it was the extended family that saved me. I had an aunt who treated me like a princess and I believe she was the only person who loved me unconditionally. I get to have feelings, to love, to have, to have raised a child with love, but it hurts so much now. I know there is no going back to the narc system, but if, but, but I'm angry. What the fuck? I still feel like I want validation, and I and know intellectually that it will never come. So when does the pain stop and peace take its place? Much light and goodness to you, Charlene and your subscribers. Your work is invaluable. <clears throat> I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Look, it's the it's it's the rage of knowing the truth now that that you have to deal with. You know, I now that you see it for what it is and you know the truth, it's a different set of emotions, emotions that, you know, have been suppressed for decades. And that feeling like a fool you know, feeling is, is, is horrible. It's like, why didn't I see it? Why didn't I see it? Why didn't I see it? Because you've been gaslighted your whole life. That's why you didn't see it. When does it stop? I don't know because there's always the problem with this is there's always new feelings and new memories being dredged up. And this past month, because it's been just a little over a month since I've even known that my that that, that drunkie died. Like the anger is is is, ugh. You have to. You don't. You don't get. Did the anger doesn't leave? You 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 understand it. You understand it. I mean, right now, you know, and Charlene said this to me. She's like, you're in, a, you're in the stage of anger now. You're, you're just, you're, you're just angry. And I'm not angry that, you know, I'm angry over what happened. I'm angry over how much I was lied to, how much I, you know, how much I didn't see. And this is pretty fresh for you i mean you're only six weeks in here i mean that's nothing you're gonna go long periods of time where you know you don't have any anger or it's not as bad or you're able to get over it real quick and it's not eating up a lot of your day or a lot of your time and you're gonna have stages where it just consumes you it's the injustice of it all. 
you know, the, the anger never goes. You need it. Your anger is righteous. You want peace. I understand that. You know, and you, you will find longer and longer periods of peace. You know, the more you understand it, the more times it runs through your head. See, I think going through the anger is, you know, you're moving on to everything. Everything you need to you need to work out. If I think if there's still anger there, there's still things that you haven't worked out. There's still things that need to come to the surface. There's still things. And that's unfortunate. And it might seem like you're high maintenance or you're, 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 you're a problem. No, it's, just, it's like when you've gone through so many of the things that we all have gone through, it took decades and decades and decades of abuse. You're not going to get over that in six weeks. You're not going to get over that in six months. You're not going to get over that in six years. You're not. You're just scratching the surface as to what has happened. The recovery process is going to be, it's going to be long. But you're better off being angry with the truth than to be in that fog and without any self-esteem living that lie. We're better off with the anger and the truth after dealing with the narcissist than all the gaslighting and lies it takes to put up with them. So that's the best advice I could give you there, Darlene. I hope that helps. Thank you again for another contribution, another story. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you guys. Without you, all of this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance.